Here is my January business budget. I'm gonna go line by line, all of our income, all of that. If you do wanna download this budget, I do have it for free for you guys. If you go to freedominabudget.com slash free business budget, you'll get this budget template. And I'm gonna start with January and then it has all of the months down below as well. All right, so kicking it right off, affiliate marketing, we brought in $2,598.73. Etsy was $305.82. I sell budget templates. I sell printables and different things to keep you motivated as people pay off debt or save money or start investing. Freedom in a budget shop that is the same exact type of product. I just sell it in two places. I sell it on Etsy for that traffic and then also on my personal website. That was $236.52. YouTube blog ad revenue. So this is from my other channel, my main channel, Freedom in a Budget. And I brought home $1,472.87. Course, my I have two different courses. I have a how to save money on groceries course and a entrepreneur course called Dreamer to Profitable. And I brought home $322.99 for that. Patreon brought home $39.93. Ooh, goes backwards. $39.93. Coaching was $106.91 for a grand total of $5,083.77. I do have a blog post if you want to look at that. It'll be down below in the description box, and that will go over in more detail of all the different revenue streams and different things like different the breakdown of affiliate marketing, all of that. So that'll be linked in the description box. Okay, so now for my expenses. So materials and supplies, MailChimp, this is one of the email marketing tools. I'm actually switching over from MailChimp to Flowdesk. Is that what it's called? I'm super new to it, Flowdesk, yes. And so um, I'm gonna be canceling MailChimp in the next month or so as I transition over. So that was $30.99. Next expense is training, conventions, travel. So these are all trainings. So Grammarly Pro is $139.95. I pay that for the year. Um, a membership site that I'm a part of with my mentor is $97 a month. And then I ended up investing in a course, um, Vanessa Lau, for $997. And actually there was a foreign transaction fee that hit the first day of February. So that'll be in next month. But she's in Canada, so I did have to pay. I think it was like $30 for a foreign transaction fee, which kind of stinks. But it is what it is. So that was a total for this category of $1,233.95. Uh, phone utility expenses, $0. Expenses office supplies, USPS. I had to ship something to a subscriber. So that was $15.05. Advertising marketing, no expenses this month, $0. Same with transportation, $0. And insurance fees, $0. So let's get down to this little chart down here. So total expenses was $1,279.99. Total revenue was $5,083.77. So gross profit, and all of these formulas are all pre-calculated for you. Gross profit is $3,800 and three cents and 78 cents, $3,803 and 78 cents. Taxes automatically calculates 25%. So you know how much to set aside for taxes is $950 and 95 cents. Net profit is $2,852 and 84 cents. Business savings is $500 for a remaining total for salary of $2,352 then as you can see down here, now I'm starting this off fresh for the new year. Um, so that's why it doesn't have anything for last month. So taxes is the same as here, it automatically populates the $950.95. And then the business savings, this automatically populates as well for $500. And then at the end of the year, it'll give me a total here as well. So that is my budget for my business for January, 2021. And as you can see, it's all broken down here. And like I said, if you do want to pick up this template, I have it in the description box for free for you. Hey.